Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Boss A Plays EU4. This is the end of our third week here, and we are slowly reinforcing. Uh, Pegu would really like a peace offer, but um, Atnayu, I keep calling him Atnayu, it sounds almost um, Egyptian, doesn't it? Um, it's not, though. Um, so, Ayutthaya, I believe. I don't really care about Ming's opinion of me. Um, excellent development, good. Less aggressiveness means faster rate of growth. Um, so yeah, we are going to inf uh, get a bigger army here on the mainland so that we can kind of just go. Um, Iret Horde is still very big and scary, and mission to... Africa continues to uh, go, so maybe we can subject some of them to our imperial might. Um, but we're growing, we're getting bigger, everything's going well. Pegu really, really wants to. Um... Oh, I'm not worried about that. Um, Pegu really wants me to peace out. We haven't even done anything to them. So, I don't know what they're planning. Ayutthaya seems to be well on its way to farming a Southeast Asian unified country. Um, I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. They're, they they can get pretty strong. Um, they're the largest nation in that area. Um, so, them blobbing seems, you know, pretty likely. The only thing that's really going to stop them is the, the my growth. Um... So, and we are staying friends with them as long as possible. Um, let's actually, well, I'm improving relations with the rats, and I am fabricating a claim on Nanjing. So, we have to get ready for the next war, um, which we should be able to do here it's in five years. It's really long truce time, actually. I guess it's not. I think all truces last five years. So this will um, use caution, please. This will probably stay a, a fairly quiet episode to, to round out the week, but um, that's okay. I'd really like to expand out to Africa. I think that'll be really good. Um, and again, anything that gets us to westernization faster is, you know, that's, that's the ideal, so... Pegu really wants me to come get out of this war. We are military tech 9, I believe. We are indeed. So we've caught up to our surrounding people. Um, they're going to... We should really start fabricating claims on cyber, because they've got no allies. Um, And we are losing a little bit of money, but that's okay. Uh, we'll we won't be there. We go. We're, we're back. We're called diplomat. We'll fabricate a claim on cyber. Accepted peace from their uh, former Sukothi. That's fine. Go to what? Oh my God! Really? I'm sorry, but that's. That's bullshit. <laughs> we won't even we won't even be able to win against that. I know it's kind of lame, but um, really, decline. I I these don't even have that. One point two, one point two. I really hate nationalism. Um. Fine game. I'll I'll play your shit. Did they still lose five ferocity? Yes they did. Um So yeah. We really need to get this this going. Um once we get all of, you know, Siberia and the rest of Russia, we'll start working on getting down into the South Pacific Islands. We are going to take Nanjing. 
that should keep yeah 0.7 we are losing a little bit of gold or ducats but that's okay um, recall okay so that is going as planned and then we will start looking to take land from Siberia because I want to be able to expand insolence covert fabricate claim on Irtesh they're military rank 8 though so they're not gonna we're not gonna have um, an easy time with it keep in mind um, well they're pretty pissed off they're not though um, they really want us to to um, get out of that war we're not going to Oop, good 10 100 population is always good so yeah this is gonna be a, a you know a pretty subdued episode I think and we will take the Solomon Islands I believe Awesome. Ichigo is now ours. We will convert them. And we should be losing less money here soon. The province of Wenzhou is now considered part of our patrimony. Wonderful. So which one do we want to take? Fuzhou is their capital. So I think we're just going to go like that now around their capital once again. Um, but we are definitely going to take Nanjing because awesome um i want an un uninterrupted coastline itachi is part of our our provinces which is nice it's very nice indeed we should be losing less money but we're not so that stinks um really like to get out of war i'd really like to get rid of inflation as well because that is actually starting to hurt us a little bit. So, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. There's Dewa. Alright, so our military is fully formed. I will get uh, Dea's Vault. So we get an automatic um, Casas Belli against anyone who's not of our religion, basically. Or almost at 100% war score. Yep, Muscovy Cyber. Yep, there we go. Very nice. We can actually declare war on... No, we can't still. That's stupid. I don't know why we can't. Maybe because we don't technically see them? I don't know. I know you want to. I know. Yeah, we're still losing money. Unfortunately, we need to... Why are we losing so much money? Is it really the inflation? Yeah, 0 0.01. I hate that. We might have to go economic ideas eventually, because I really hate inflation. It's, it's, it's just awful. Um, we have two more years until the war can start again and we have we should we could probably fire one of these guys because we have two two one let's see if do we have a plus one yeah let's do that instead so that we can get a little bit of money back yeah that's what was costing us so much um, we're still getting eight ten and eight so um, we are going to continue to grow our military so we, st we have how many pieces left yeah 39 of 51 um so i believe it behooves us to um to build up a force um what is our mil our aggressive expansion we're still a war which is this is hurting us too um really would just come on dudes peace out already would you 
799. We're actually ahead of them in a lot of respects. Hmm. If I could bring up a big enough force here, I think we need to start taking these threes just so we can have a, a, a bigger push into cyber. Um, but uh, we're, we're expanding. Everything is going well on that front. Um, and we're almost to the point where we'll be getting an extra 15 or extra 10 um, settlers. So that's nice. Iron is being produced in Daya. That's nice. What's being produced here? Oh, yeah, spices. That's good. I like that. Um, okay. I believe our conquistador died, which sucks. But, um, not much I can do about that. So we are going to continue to build our forces up. We've got two years to do it, so I'm not too concerned. We have one group here ready to pounce into Nanjing. And actually what we'll take is Nanjing and Nanchang. Those are actually two very large um, incomes. So we'll have a lot of aggressive expansion to deal with and a lot of overextension. Ayutthaya really needs to end this war. They're at 99%. Um... Grant aid, that would really hurt, but I guess we'll grant aid. We're at least making money again, so that's nice. And indeed, we are building up our forces. Japan is in a lot of trouble. We'll probably take Ichu. Um... Yeah. I would take Kai, but that would actually hurt us because it's a lot of um, god-awful stuff going on. And then we'll just, you know, we'll have a force to um, go and take their capital city right off the bat. And then with our force in Japan, we'll march right to Kyoto. If, I mean, if we took Kai and Mino, we would have the ability to do that. Um, good. Lan Zhang will cede Lang Prong to it. Shan will cede Wang Gai. King Tao and uh, Pegu will cede. Wow, they're pretty pissed off. Yeah, they, they just exploded, um, which is to be expected. We're going to improve relations with them, however, because if we don't, you know, we might lose them as an ally. If Zhao could just take those two. Do they have... No, T, iron. Yeah. I really, really want... There's just so much I want. And not enough time to, to snag it. Um... Combine that. I really. If the uh, there's just so much to do, and it's almost been a hundred years. I'd really like to be able to push into Eastern Europe, but um, that doesn't seem likely, does it? No. We need to westernize. Is what we need to do. I'd like to westernize by two hundred years. That way, we, you know. That's the that's my hope. Poor Japan, poor China. It's just it's so hard to really kind of blossom out and take a lot of land at once because of just because of how much it costs. Um, we might just have to bite that bullet at some point and just suck it up and start taking interior land here. But um, we can do that once we start. Once we have their entire seaboard, basically, um, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take like another 100 years before we take most of China or most of the Ming. Um, but baby steps. We're we're going slow. We're playing a very cautious game here. Um, I think every five years we gain a little bit of land 
so that's nice. I don't think we're going to gain any land in this episode, which is a bummer. Um, this one's been pretty static. But that's okay. We're gaining money. How close are we to our force limit? 46 of 51. So that's 48 to 51. All is well. Just relax, Va. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Um, we can no longer consider Narim. Why is that? I wonder. Well, we have no diplomat to send, but, um, hmm. Interesting. They are allied with... Ooh, Denmark is no longer their ally. It's good. It's very good. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Everything is going fine. We don't have the money anymore, unfortunately. Um, and we'll probably start the war, but we won't. We definitely won't finish the war. Um, oh, we have another year. Shit. So we probably won't even start the war. I thought it was uh, 35. So this is their capital. And it is their main trade port. I guess we just had so much control that they just left Nanjing. I guess that's how it happened. It's, works for me. Um, yeah, 15%. Tropical really just eats away at that. Um, which is why this is going to take a long time, and why I've kind of stopped worrying about the South Pacific for now. It's easier to get this stuff, although it's cold. It's very cold. So I think this is the first episode where we haven't actually grown. Which stinks. There's not much I can do about that, so... Is there a river crossing in Fuzhou? No, there isn't. It's good to see. All right. Sorry for the somewhat boring, um, or at least somewhat quiet episode. They're at war with Cyber, actually. So that was probably a fool's errand on our part. They're going to take a lot of Cyber. Um, we could probably declare war on Bukhara. Just scouting out Ichigo is finally converted. We will take Itachi as well. The glorious Confucian Empire grows. That's Confucian, Confucian, Confucian. Yep. We'll start eating up these little places in preparation to go to war with the Oirats. We have a lot of land. We are one of the largest mil uh, empires in the game. Um... You're allied with Japan. Wonder why you're moving your men. We all, we have like four months until the war starts. We'll probably, like I said, we'll probably start the war, and then, oh, Japan is uh, military tech seven. Very nice, Japan. So we actually have thirty-five base settlers. Really? Fine. Hurts a little bit, but not enough. So this should be 35. 25. Yeah. Yikes. I hate it. Hate it. So we have two more months before the war starts. And uh, we're going to crush Ming. Can't Again, we can't take... 
all of the land that we want because these are really big base tax. Basically, once we start getting able to have smaller base tax areas, we can take a lot of land. That's the idea. Or if I wanted to just accept, you know, 200% overextension, which I kind of don't want. Um, what was our mission? Take Narum. Yeah, okay. Probably unlikely to happen this time, because their forces are literally right here. Um, you gain a trade dispute against... Okay. So we are going to declare war. And all of our allies are coming in. And we might just leave the episode there. Japan foolishly comes in. We are losing a little. We're losing so much because of reinforcing. There is Cantonese Patriots. And cross there. Yikes, that's a lot. There we go. That's much better. So, everyone's involved in this war. Which is pretty awesome. Where are they going? Okay. So, let's do this there's nowhere for them to go okay so man to man we should be okay although we have a river crossing but that's okay yes um so that's done I'm going to put a conquistador and I'm going to fire Hoi Yun because I don't need him and then we'll probably okay um, so I actually haven't where we're going to end this episode here very soon um, So we're going to take this army, and we're going to... Arrgh! Okay. And we're going to follow them. Just keeping an eye on the Ming. And they're running away. So I'm going to take Kyoto. And then I'm going to come over here just to make sure, because there's going to be some attrition. Yep. And then I'll go back over here real fast once I'm able to. Okay. Okay. Just got to keep an eye on all of this, because I don't want to lose any of our sieges. We're losing a little bit of cash. And... Alright, so is this the Solomon... No, this is the Maldives. I'm sorry. And you go back there, and then we'll be able to jump to Madagascar. It's right down here. Um, so once that starts, because I, you know, I would like to have a little bit of growth, um, in this episode, we will, um, we'll go from there. And our sieges seem to be working. We are sieging both of their, hello, that is a lot of men. It's 23 men, and they are going to Ichizen. They'll probably go to Mino. Yeah. Um... Could I please? 
please get over there with your general. Thank you. We should probably win this, and that is probably when I'll end the episode. Yeah. Wasn't even a contest. I'd love to be able to just crush them. They're moving so fast. Okay. Just making sure. How many more days does this have? 117. That's where we'll end the episode then. 117 in-game days. We almost have our war goal. So that's nice. Actually, that's really nice. We almost have their capital. Japan, not quite as under wraps this time. They have a lot of men. Awesome. We actually have some actual growth. Ooh. Let's send you there. And that will take us 87 days. So, we'll actually have grown in this episode. I'm really happy about that. Nanjing is done. Perfect. So we'll start up next week in what seems to be a wildly successful war, actually. Oops, sorry for the, the, the voice crack there. Yeah, we actually will actually have a very, very successful war. Um, I'm going to wait for now. Making a little bit of money. Here comes Japan again. Just waiting to see where they go. They'll probably go to Mino. Let's do that. We continue to crush them. It's very frustrating for me that they continue to do this, but what can you do? They started it already, which means down here is already started indeed. Wonderful, wonderful. Things are going very well. Um, so I will move our ships here, and once that is ready, we will, um, it won't take long. Um, Kyoto is done. Siege of Fuzhou is finished. And the Siege of Kyoto is done. And we'll just come here and help Mino. This war is going very well. We're juggling two fronts. Keep in mind. Um, so, what do we want? We want Nanjing. And we want that. Um, and... We don't really... Well, we do want some of Japan, but that's neither here nor there, I suppose. Um, so we'll save. And um, we will see you next week. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.